It's simple to see it's Sad Magic TV So the world can believe it's Sad Magic TV Welcome back to another edition of Celebrity Scene News right here on Ed Magic TV. I'm Pete Allman, and when we talk about boxing, the two-time world heavyweight champion boxer, he's a fighter, he's a humanitarian, he's a man that's envisioned and helped people through humanity for a number of years, and now he has a new book coming out again, and he is none other than Mr. Ken Norton. Ken, it's good being with you again. How are you? I'm feeling good. You look good. Well, so do you. Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> We've got a book here, and it says Believe. And it's a journey from Jacksonville. Let's talk a little bit about this and, and how you use this to help other people. Well... It starts with my childhood. Through my young adult life, through my adult life, it explains how I got involved in boxing, how positive I was with Napoleon Hill. What inspired you to write this book? Again, the accident is involved in that. Plus, I just felt that if I could tell my life story, that, that some young person would read it and see that coming from a small town means nothing. You can still reach your goals through your mind, through God, and through believing in yourself. What was the most important thing that boxing did for you? It gave me the money to raise my children as I wanted. It gave me the money to give them the things that they wanted. And also, it made me a better person through the battles and interviews and being with other people. There's another um, item that came out recently and this is called Facing Alley. It's a knockout <clears throat> and this is really all the great heavyweights that were in the business and uh, of course you were one of them and uh, Chafalo, Cooper, Foreman, Frazier Holmes, and of course, Frazier had a lot of good things to say about you, and you and him got along real well. But talk a little bit about that, because it was a, a DVD compilation, uh, and I guess it's still out, right? Yes. It is still on the stand. It, uh, Ollie was boxing during his career. And I believe that everyone who faced Ali is in this uh, cassette. And each one who faced Ali has a different reaction to his way of fighting. What was your reaction to Muhammad Ali? Well, I was very confident that I could beat the man. 
And now, I felt that I was as smart mentally as it was. I felt I was as quick as it was. But I felt I was stronger. And so, I mainly didn't listen to any, anything that he said during the fight. All he won 98% of his fight by talking to his opponent and beating him down mentally. But with me, it was not going to happen. Well, you know, you broke his jaw. Uh, I did? Uh, well, I put it this way. I caught him with his mouth open, and the result was a broken jaw. But after the fight, I went to the hospital to apologize and to see how it was. Let's go back a little bit <clears throat> for the folks out there and let them know what happened to you in your life when you were in that automobile accident and you were right here in LA and you were on the, I think it was the 10 freeway and exactly what happened and what you went through and here you are today, you beat the odds. Well, I don't know exactly what happened. I was on the freeway on ramp going to the freeway and for some unknown reason my car went over the side a 40 foot drop and that's all I remember it's, it's, it's something that I believe I, my guardian angel was there with me because in going over that side of the freeway, there was a small girl playing in her backyard. Now this is 11 o'clock at night and she went and told her parents about the accident. And without the, the other girl, being there at that time, I would have got to no live. And uh, I've looked for the young lady, but I never have found her. That's why I'm, I'm kind of thinking it was an angel. How did the accident affect you while you were in the hospital? and when you got out of the hospital? Well, I would like to say that God gave me a second chance and through me, he had the message that no matter, no matter how hard things get, you believe in him, and anything is possible. While you were in the hospital, did the doctors tell you you wouldn't be able to walk again? They told me I would not be able to walk. They told me I would never be able to talk. Our reason, our doing thing, after the accident, that I did before the accident. And today, my voice is a little questionable, but I can think, I can reason, I can add, divide, and praise God, I'm sitting here. And even drive a little bit, I bet, too. A whole bunch. <laughs> How much? 
Many times throughout life we have our ups and we have our downs and different people have different ways of handling their obstacles. What was it in you that enabled you to overcome your obstacles from the time you were a young man to where you are today? As a young man, it's, I always wanted to be the best at whatever I did. As I grew older, I read the book by Napoleon Hill that refired my positive thinking. So I've always been positive. I believe in God does everything for a reason. Even my accident, there's a reason I did something that God didn't agree with. So he was showing me he could take me or leave me. So I locked down, he left me. And so now we, we have this book, Believe, and uh, I'm sure it's going to help a lot of people all over the world. And uh, want the folks to uh, know where they can get a hold of you and uh, learn a little bit more about you. And that would be through your website, right? Yes. KenNorton.com. Right there. <laughs> but before we leave, Ken, what would be the most important message that you could give to people that are watching this program right now that would inspire them, especially those that feel there really is no hope for them. I think about the most positive thing I could say is to believe in themselves. God put them here for a reason. If they believe in themselves, and they believe in God, anything is possible. Well, there you have it. Keep your visions positive, and always keep positive people around you. Right here for Celebrity Scene, I'm Pete Allman, right here on Ed Magic TV, and here's the champ. Goodbye.